it's eerie how quiet it is here. I'm in the Shenandoah Valley. That's the Shenandoah Mountains right there. At night, this is... It wasn't, like, scary. It was a little... See, but not, like, frightening like a horror movie. Just frightening, like, a little bit of a... A sense of how huge all the features of the landscape is, are here and how small I am. I don't know how people live here. Look at... There's houses here. Dead quiet. It's, like... 7 in the morning, just had breakfast, I can't even eat, enjoy any food, I tried eating, like, a lot of breakfast, which they didn't have that much food, they had, like, oatmeal, bread, yogurt, apples, stuffed myself with oatmeal alone, like, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll stuff myself and, uh, eat well, so I don't need to eat much later, I couldn't even eat much, I just can't, and my stomach has, like, shrunk. So, it's a good problem to have, but it's eerie how the only sound is my voice. And I was, ooh, the only person at breakfast. They had a Christmas story playing on TV. I hate that movie so much. A model and tedious, drawl, droning movie. I can't stand it. I don't care about the kids' problems. I don't want to hear about it. I changed the channel. Thank goodness it was on Parks and Recreation, one channel away. Even though uh, I've never seen Parks and Recreation before, but it was funny. And that's... Whoa, you can hear roosters. I've never heard roosters, I don't think. And uh, I will be going that way. I'm going to sleep. I could not even sleep in the bed more than like two hours or three hours. I can't sleep in a bed. I can't, I'm so uncomfortable. Like, I sleep so much better in my car. I, I think I'm better off just sleeping in my car for a few hours and then uh, um, just getting up and showering and go going. But I don't have time for all that. i got to check out of the motel at, by 11 a.m. Nothing here. One car driving by. Whew. It's amazing how quiet it is. It just blows my mind since you don't hear things. Like, I mean, hear things? You don't um, get to places this remote around D.C., anywhere around there. Arlington, Fairfax, Annandale. Wouldn't want to live here. I'd be bored out of my mind. I know that. Oh, excuse me. Whew, my stomach is so jam-packed and bloated right now. Just from oatmeal, toast, uh, cereal. I had a little raisin bran. Three small cups of tea. <laughs> Small, oh, actually, I didn't eat the small apple. It was already, uh, like a little too, you know, old, too ripe. And, uh, a tiny little orange. Wow. Amazing how quiet it is. So, again, I will be heading that way, only a few miles to the uh, mountains. I'm going on Skyline Drive. And I will get views of the overlook into the valley below. Other parts of the valley, not just here. I'm not just going to be looking at this parking lot. Wow, it is weak. Just, it, it's like I've arrived in a science fiction movie. It is that bizarre to me. All right, everybody, keep watching. I'm homeless in Shannon in the Shenandoah Valley on Christmas Day. Not that I care about Christmas. And actually, that was my one mistake. Well, it was a good thing because there's no traffic. It was a bad thing because everything's going to be closed. Uh, like I, in Harris 
Harrisonburg. Yeah, that's like one of the cities close by. Pretty much everything's going to be closed. I'm like, oh crap. I, like, I doubt there's going to be many, if any, restaurants I can go to. I wanted to go see something, you know, go around. Because I'm not going to be in the, in the mountains all day. I don't want it. I don't like mountains really that much. I like looking at them. I don't like being in them. Anyways, I'm going to get going. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.